Hello everyone, and welcome to another Classical Lands video. Today, we are on my Town Hall 12 account, doing SC CWL for another day. So, currently it is day 5 in King of, uh, of Nukes. That is the clan that we're doing Masters League, Clan War League in. So, everyone's attacked except for me and Wux. And we have two tunnel twelve tunnel thirteens up against us. And both of them have the same layout. It's a difficult little anti two. So what we're gonna do about that is I'm gonna show you exactly what type of attack to use, and I'm gonna use it. Uh twelve V thirteen. And we're gonna see how it goes. And then you can use it for your own raids. Okay. So this is the plan. First let's call it and make sure Wux knows which other one to hit. So base number one. What I'm looking for here is a way to cut the base just a bit and then have a giant bowler and golem kill squad go through the middle of that cut and then to be able to get to the town hall from there. So my plan is here to the plan here is to queen walk from six o'clock move over here cut these buildings down and then we'll have this area here that we're gonna have to do with maybe a stone slammer and then freeze the sweeper that'll get a couple of these defenses and then we'll have loons to take out the rest then we'll have a bit of a path here that will lead to the outside, but it will also lead to the town hall. So we'll have a jump spell probably around here to get some troops into the town hall, and that'll be enough to take it down. So we don't have to worry too much about this single inferno or this single inferno, because we're just going for the two star, and because we'll probably have warden ability through that, or just so many troops that there's no way anything useful will actually get targeted by those infernos. So yeah. That is the plan. So, let's get ready and do it. Also, I forgot to mention, for percentage, we also need baby dragons or something similar like archers to take out outside buildings. Since I don't think there were too many outside buildings with archers, we brought a bunch of baby dragons for that. And I'm also going to use ice golems instead of something different for the, for the tanking for the bowlers. Because we'll also have the heal spell and the warden, so I don't think I don't think it'll be a huge issue there. I would like the ice skull and freeze instead of something else, instead of like more HP or something. Actually, let's watch this attack right now. So here is Wux's attempt on this base: bit of a yeti smash and witches and yetis and ice golems. So, not really a wit yeti smash, like, just like mass witch yeti combo. Not exactly sure what to call it. Along with the new siege machine, bringing out wizards and stuff. A bunch of extra army camp space that you didn't get at Town Hall 13 like you did with every other Town Hall level. You didn't get a new level of army camp, so that's a bit of a strange one. And instead, we are doing the new siege machine instead of having the new um, camp levels. So it's a bit of a trade-off. We have the royal champion going in with the hog riders. The siege machine could have been shaded either like a couple of tiles to the right or to the left, so we know where all the hogs would go, and then, and then. Because of that, we would know exactly where to place the Royal Champion and the Heal Spell. And then we could get a few more buildings out of that. But overall, it's fine. You don't need a massive push from a Town Hall 13 to attack a Town Hall 12. This war was over before either of us attacked, so it didn't really matter if we got 3-star, and we're not going to promote in this clan either. 
We're not going to promote up to, I think it would be Champion 3 that we would promote, promote to. So since that's not going to happen, we're just getting the two stars as best we can. Getting a couple of three stars when we can. When it like, they want to, because if you win a war yeah, out of the seven, you get an extra bonus, an extra medal bonus. So instead of eight medal bonuses, you'd have nine. So if you didn't win any wars, I think you would get three at this level. I think you would get three. And then Champions League, you'd get four, something like that. And then as you win more wars out of the set of seven, you get more bonuses. So that's why you want to win wars, even if you're not going to promote and even if you're not going to demote. So if you're going to stay the same, then you still want to win a couple of wars. But that's not a huge priority here. So we're just going to go in, see if the plan works, and just give it a shot. So three, two, one. I haven't done this in a long time. Two stars on a higher town hall level. It's been a while. It's been since probably... Other than in CWL, it's been probably like two years. Almost two years. Of course, CWL gives you more reason to do that. Uh... That's not what I was trying to do. I got a bit distracted there. Rage spell for the loons. The damage CC is interesting. Rage and heal. For... Should probably... Yeah, warden ability over the... New defense. Freeze the town hall. A couple of troops go to the town hall. And that's plenty enough. We don't need an extra rage spell. And we don't even need that rage spell. Kind of wasted it, actually. Uh, yeah. That archer was wasted. And we get a couple of army camps, though. I think this could be done more optimized with a Town Hall 11. I think a Town Hall 11 could have done this attack. Um, yeah, it wasn't a super great uh, 12v13 attack. But we don't really know what to expect really from 12v13 yet. Back when Town Hall 12 was the highest Town Hall, you try to get like upwards of 70% 11 v 12 and that was considered good and this is going to cross the 70% barrier as well depending on the barracks at the top there it'll probably get about 71 okay at least 72 probably 73 so yeah I hope that gives you a good idea of what to do when you're up against anti twos in CWL and you're not even the same town hall level. Or even if you are the same town hall level and you're not trying to get the three star, you can do similar strategies to these. So at first we had the very spammy, just drop two jump spells, drop all of your troops at the top, just ice golems, uh, I think it was witches and yetis, and you just let the corner of the base filter down to the town hall. So on this base in particular, that would be very good. And... This strategy right here, the Mass Bowlers, which is also popular for Town Hall 11 against Town Hall 12. That's what I used when we had to face those kind of anti twos back a couple of months ago when Town Hall 12 was the highest Town Hall. So yeah, I hope that helps you out. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out. <laughs>